So this video is an extension. Let's say we wanted to reflect in the plane y equals x. Now, ordinarily, we understand y equals x to be a straight line uh, when we're looking at 2D. And if this was my y-axis and x-axis, then essentially it would look like that. So it is the line that would be going through uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, etc. And as well as in projecting the other way as well, so minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2, etc. However, y equals x um, is actually a plane in three dimensions because it's also governing the fact that uh, z could be anything you like. Um, Z being anything you like will satisfy that equation. So in actual fact, it's a plane. And it kind of looks like this, I guess. OK. Quite a bit difficult to visualize, but it's a whole plane that's coming through. Um, and that's still your line y equals x, but this plane um, is projecting through into the negative z-axis as well. So if I wanted to reflect in the plane y equals x, the first thing I would do is think, right, well, 1, 0, 0, where's that going to go? Well, that would get reflected into 0, 1, 0, if that was the case. Because just like if you reflected in the line y equals x, so if we were looking at two dimensions, and here is my reflection line, then this point will reflect here. OK, that's what's going to happen. So 1, 0, 0 will go to 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0 will, in a similar way, reflect over to 1, 0, 0. Whereas 0, 0, 1, with it being on the plane, y equals x. Because it's on the plane, it's on the mirror, essentially, and so will remain where it is. And so we'll have 0, 0, 1.